Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Anderson with you today. We are going to be continuing learning about pennies and dimes. I know you did a lesson with Ms. Gavarsa yesterday on the value of those coins, and we're going to continue on with that today. We're actually going to be using pennies and dimes to help us add numbers to 120. Not just 100, but 120. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. So look at this number right here. That number is 80. So I want us to see if we could represent that number with dimes and pennies. Okay, think about how much a dime is worth. Do you remember? A dime is worth 10 cents or 10, and a penny is worth one cent, okay? So think about it like this, think about our tens as our dime and our ones as pennies. Okay? Can you guys see that? So I just wrote dime above tens and penny above ones. So, and if you don't have dimes and pennies at home, you can always just draw a circle and put a D for dime or a P for penny. I've got some pennies and dimes here that I'm going to use today uh, to help us with our lesson. So if we were going to represent the number 80, well, let's start with my tens, okay? How many tens are in the number 80? Do you know? There are eight, okay? So let's count by tens. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, some of those are hard to move, and 80. Do I need any ones or did I already reach my number? Yeah, I'm already to 80. There are zero ones. We don't need any pennies. Okay? We had eight dimes and zero pennies. So that is our place value chart. Okay? We're going to be working today with representing the numbers that I give you with dimes and pennies. And remember I said, if you don't have any dimes and pennies at your house, you can just draw um, a circle with a D for dime or a P for penny in your journal, okay? And then I want you to make yourself some place value charts in your journal, okay? For these numbers that I give you, okay? Great job, let's do a couple more like that. All right, how about we do the number 68? Okay, do the number 68. I'll give you just a minute to either use your coins that you have at home to make that number, or you can draw them with the circles. All right, let's take a look at that. So how many tens do we have in this number 68? That's right, there are six tens, so we should need six dimes. Let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, and how many pennies are we going to need? Should be eight, right? 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, tens. Remember, a dime is worth ten. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Because the penny is worth one. So we have the number 68. Now, let's see if you guys can show me the number. Ooh, 100. That one might be a little tricky. See if you can do the number 100. All right, let's start with our dimes. Are you ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Do we need any 
once for that? We don't, do we? We don't need any ones. All right. So let's count our 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Did you get that? That there are 10 tens and zero ones? That's the number 100. Now, what if I added another dime? What if I took another dime? And I added that. Remember, a dime is 10. So what is 100 plus 10? Remember, 10 dimes was 100, but now we have 11 dimes. We added another 10. Let's count by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 110. It's 110. Okay? So if I have 11 dimes and zero ones, that's 110. Good job. All right. Let's try something a little bit different. You guys are doing such a nice job today. Now, what if I asked you to show me four dimes and eight pennies? Could you get out four dimes and eight pennies and tell me what number that is? Four dimes and eight pennies. Okay, so that's four tens and eight ones. Did you get 48? 48 cents? 10, 20, 30, 40. Stop. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Did you get that? I know you did. Good job. Give yourself a bleak lap. Okay. The Sanders is moving kind of fast now. All right. How about you show me? I'm gonna be a little tricky on this one. How about five pennies? Listen to how I say this: five pennies and six dimes. Five pennies and six dimes. Did you get that laid out or drawn? Okay, we're going to do our dimes first. We had six of them. We had five pennies. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Stop. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. And you may know that 60 and 5 more make 65. And if you do, thumbs up for you. Good job. So that number is 65. Okay, or 65 cents. That's a cent sign. Okay, give yourself a flea clap. All right, we're going to do one more like this. Okay. Oh, this one's going to be tricky, guys. I want you to do 10 dimes and 10 pennies. 10 dimes and 10 pennies. Okay. All right, took me a minute to get mine out too. Did you get yours out? All right, let's count our times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I want to know what number ten dimes and ten pennies is. Let's count. Count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Stop. 
101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110. Did you get that? Did you get that? Yourself a pat on the back, guys. Good job. All right, now let's look at something just a little bit different. Okay? If I asked you to add the number 52 plus 20, you could get out your dimes and your pennies, or you could draw them if you needed to. Okay? I'm going to draw these because I want to show you how you would do that if you did not have enough dimes and pennies at your house. Okay? So if I was going to draw the number 52, look at the number. How many tens would I have? would have five. Remember, this is your tens place. This is your ones place. So I would have five dimes. I'm going to put the D for dime, and I'm not going to draw them fancy. I'm going to do them quick. And I would have two pennies, because remember, a penny is worth one, okay? Looking at your second number, you would have two dimes, okay? Because you have two tens and zero ones. You wouldn't have any pennies for that. And then, look, we're going to go back and count our tens first, our dimes. Count all your dimes, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. So that would be seven tens and two ones. So what number is that? That's right. It is 72. Okay? 72. Let's see if we can do one more like that. I am so impressed with your work today, boys and girls. You are really listening and doing a great job. Thank you for staying with me. All right, let's try this one. How about 59 and 31? But 59 and 31, I'll give you a minute to start getting your coins out or drawing that if you don't have enough coins at home. All right, look at this number. How many tens do I have? I have five, and remember a dime is worth 10, so we're gonna draw our dime. We're gonna have five of those. And how many ones will we have? Or pennies? That's right, we're gonna have nine pennies, because those are worth one. I'm gonna draw the circles, and then I'll go back and put the piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And remember, I'm gonna do that quickly. And look at this number. How many dimes will I have for that one? I'll have three because we have three tens. And remember, a dime is worth ten. And we're going to have one penny because we have one one. Now I'm going to go back and count all my dimes. I'm going to put a line through it so I know I counted it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had eight tens. And I'm going to put a check. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A ten ones. Ooh, what is eight tens and ten ones? Now I know that eight tens is eighty. And if I add ten more to eighty, that makes ninety. So the answer is ninety. Did you get that? Remember, you can always go back. And count your dimes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. You can do that if you need to as well. Okay? Now, boys and girls, you did a great job of using pennies and dimes today to help you add numbers to 120. You're going to have an assignment that is linked um, on here to Seesaw. So I want you to listen to the instructions on your Seesaw activity. 
You can use coins that you have at your house, or again, you can draw them like I showed you with a circle and a D for dime or a P for penny. And I want you to remember to take a picture of your work so that your teacher can see it. You guys did a great job. I will see you again soon. Keep up the great work.